Hello everyone, welcome to Drishti IAS. My name is Saloni Nandkulier and in this video we will discuss some important updates related to the population census of 2027. So the Registrar General and the Census Commissioner of India has released two mobile applications for the trial run of the first phase of our population census 2027. And these two applications are the DLM app or the Digital Layout Mapping app and the HL Operations app or the House Listing Operations app. Now these two apps have been launched for the trial run of the first phase of our population census and they can be accessed only by authorized personnel. Ordinary citizens like you and me cannot go and download these apps. You see there is a user ID and password over here. Only authorized enumerators will have access to these apps. Now let's understand the whole story of the population census in order to see where these two apps fit in. So the census of 2027 is unique because A, it is the first fully digital census. We are going fully digital with this census. That is why these two applications have also been launched and then there is a facility of self enumeration also which is going to be provided to the citizens so that we can go and enter our information on our own. So we want to minimize the role of enumerators here so as to minimize the manual errors that can arise because of this. So we are going fully digital for the first time. This is one unique feature and B. For the first time since 1931 we are going to include cast data cast and subcast data. So not just the data of SCs and STs, we are also going to include the data of OBCs, other backward classes. That is why this, uh, this census becomes particularly unique because A, we are going fully digital and B, for the first time we are adding cast and subcast data. Now this is going to be conducted in two phases. This exercise, population census exercise is going to be conducted in two phases. The first phase is the house listing and housing operations phase and the second phase is the population enumeration. Now, under the house listing and housing, op uh, housing operations phase, no personal information is going to be included. Only the number of households are going to be counted. These households are going to be geotagged. They are going to be mapped to the respective blocks. And what is the status of basic amenities in these households is going to be checked. So, no personal data. Versus in the population enumeration phase, this is where the actual population is going to be counted. Personal information is going to be used. Personal information is going to be collected over here. So the number of people are going to be counted here. All the personal information related to these people is going to be included in the population enumeration phase, which is the second phase. The first phase is the house listing and housing operations. This is the phase for which these two applications, the DLM app and the HL app have been launched and these two apps are going to help us with what? One with the geotagging of our household. Geotagging, the locations, uh, the latitude, longitude, the coordinates of the households are going to be mapped. The number of households are going to be counted. All these households are going to be mapped to the respective blocks and some 30 questions are going to be asked by the enumerators. So these questions are going to be a set of basic questions. Basically these enumerators, they are going to download these apps, they are going to come to our doorstep and they are going to ask these 30 questions. Basic questions like is the house that we are living in, is it a kacha makan or a pakka makan? Is that house rented or owned? Or do we have sanitation facilities? Do we have a toilet? What kind of a toilet do we have? Do we have a source of drinking water? How far is that source of drinking water? Do we have electricity etc. So basically do we have access to basic amenities or not is going to be checked by by these enumerators and they are going to add in all this information in these apps. 
Now, why is a physical visit important here? Because physical verification also becomes important because these people also need to see whether the house is actually occupied or is it vacant or any duplicate entries are being provided by these household owners or not. So, a physical verification also needs to take place. These apps basically going, are going to help these enumerators retain this information. There are drop down menus, everything is going to be provided in here and these people can just retain the information, ask only those limited 30 questions and get all the information in these apps and then we also have a second phase the population enumeration phase right now this is under trial run and this also the population enumeration phase is also being tested the public participation for this is also being tested by the process of self enumeration what do you understand by self enumeration this is a process by which we can simply go to a website or a portal and enter our own personal information. We don't really require an enumerator to come and take down all that information physically as it used to be done earlier. So, we can simply just go and provide our information uh, on our own on that website. So, I highly recommend that you go and visit this website, the http test.census dot gov dot in se self enumeration because right now this also is under a trial phase and you will be able to provide all your information and see what happens at the end so towards the end you will have a qr code and these physical enumerators when they come to your place you simply have to present them that qr code and all the information that you provided all the information that you entered in here will be uh, will be available to these enumerators also so you're going to save a lot of time and duplication of efforts will not be there manual errors will not be there if you visit that website you will see that there is a welcome message that is a self enumeration portal for census 2027 and all this information is going to be filled by you the location details, census house details, household information, amenities, assets etc. And towards the end you will get a confirmation message and once the enumerator comes and visits your place physically you can simply provide this information to them and they will be able to access all the information that you provided on the self enumeration portal. So this also is an interesting exercise over here please go and visit the website because this is going to be available only till 7th November that is only till today midnight. So please go and visit the website and see what happens. Now with this there are coming in a set of new challenges we want to go fully digital great but can we go fully digital if we do not have a fully digital infrastructure to support us we cannot so we require the appropriate infrastructure as well like we require internet service providers we require internet connectivity we require those kind of smartphones which have access to internet so all these things are needed and the most important thing that is needed is digital literacy now this can be a challenge particularly in the remote areas in the population like older populations who are not that aware who are not that digitally aware who are not that digitally literate and they are habituated of giving all this information manually to the enumerators they are used to doing that thing so they might just feel like an additional task the self enumeration might look to them like an additional task because they are not used to it so we need to come up with ways we need to come up with awareness programs so that people feel people understand that this is a way of easing things out for them and this is not just adding one more task onto their plate so digital literacy is the most important thing that we need to take care of and digital infrastructure is something that we need to build so as to so for this exercise to be a complete success so this is what's happening at the moment these are some updates that are related to the population census of 2027 i hope you understood everything that we discussed here now let us look at a question for prelims with reference to the upcoming census 2027 in India, consider the following statements. 1. The first phase of the census is called house listing and housing operations where information on household amenities is collected. 2. The self enumeration feature will allow every citizen to fill their census details directly without any verification by enumerators. Choose the correct statements. A. 1 only. B. 2 only. C. Both 1 and 2. Or D. Neither 1 nor 2. Please attempt this question and provide your answers in the comment section. Thank you for watching. 
For more informative content, like, share and subscribe and do not forget to press the bell icon to get the notifications.